In this next video, I'm going to show you how to test for the contractile tissue, i.e. the muscle and the tendon that relates to the knee and also a little bit about the hip area. So let's look at some anatomy first. If I get my patient to bend the knee and hold his leg in that position, then you can see a very obvious tendon, which is called the semitendinosus. And then this will come from the ischial tuberosity and come down and attach onto what we call the pes and serinus, which means the goose's foot. Deep to that one, we've got the tendon muscle called the semimembranosus, which will go to the posterior part of the tibia. And on the outside of the knee, we have the main muscle that's called the bicep femoris and also it comes from the ischial tuberosity and it goes to the head of the fibula. So we look at them first. The reason why we look at that is if we have posterior thigh pain or posterior knee pain then maybe the hamstring could be related. If it's not related then you need to be looking at other structures. If you've got posterior knee pain then you might want to be looking at say the popliteus here, or more commonly, maybe the, the menisci, because that gives you pain to a posterior part of the knee. So we'll bend the knee to start with, and the first technique will be simply isometric. Okay, so no motion. So we start at a 90 degree. So I'm going to simply ask my patient to slowly pull your heel towards your bum, please. Pull. And then be careful in this one, because it can cause cramp. So if he pulls again, and then he says, yes, I feel it, and he points to an area, then you might find that... It could be causing, I mean, he's got cramp in you. <laughs> he's got a bit of cramp there, that's what I mean. Sometimes when I resist, which I'm going to show you an alternative way, I can feel the muscle just tightened up there. Okay, but sometimes it's quite nice to see that. Yeah, so you can see it for real. So when the muscle is in a shortened position and you activate it, then it can spontaneously cause a cramp in effect. So what I suggest you do is, rather than starting in a flex position where the muscle's shortened, if you allow the leg to come down here, Okay, so it's lengthened, and now you resist, then that tends to take one away the cramp, and also because the muscle is more lengthened, it might show itself around the seven medial side or the lateral side. And again, you can ascertain how much effort to pull in. You can say, push minimal effort, say 10, 20%, push a bit more, okay, 30, 40%, etc. And then you can see if pain is elicited. If pain is in the posterior thigh, then maybe it's coming from one of those soft tissue structures rather than coming from um, the sciatic nerve, for instance. Now, we can also, if I turn the leg slightly this direction internally and pull up, please, okay, that's going to be testing more of a semi tendinosis and semi membranosis. And if I ask him to turn his leg external rotation, pull up, then that's going to be more of the biceps femoris. We can, if we want to, be careful in this one. I'm going to get him to pull his heel towards his bum, okay, so pull in, and I'm going to overcome him whilst he's pulling. So even though he's pulling in, I'm overcoming him, so almost it's not quite an eccentric lengthening. He contracts concentric, but then I lengthen as he's contracting. So it's, um, it's almost like a modified eccentric, because if you stretch the muscle, the, the sarcomeres, which is the, um, the actin and the myosin myofilaments, they will separate, whereas with a contracture, they're still intact. So they are contracting, but we're trying to stretch whilst they're still contracting. So if you've torn the tissue, by doing that modified eccentric contracture will, will typically bring pain to that sort of area. If he does have pain behind the knee, then you might want to look at the gastroc. Okay, so you can, don't bend the knee too far because you'll take the gastroc out. You can just get him to push his foot against me so he can plant our flex because the medial and lateral heads of the gastroc will attach here. So you might find that could cause pain. Uh, we can also, from here, test the hamstring and the glutes at the same time. We can say to him, push his leg towards the ceiling. Okay, so you can work the glute and the hamstring. And then if I apply pressure in here, Max, so I'm going to push the leg down. You just match my pressure. You can feel for the strength of the gluteus maximus mainly because it's a movement of hip extension. And relax. So there we've tested some of the muscles, mainly the hamstrings, to elicit posterior thigh and posterior knee pain.